what's going on everybody josh pogok here and we've covered many different videos in the last few days going over claude's new computer use feature we've covered using it in their own demo we've covered using it with agent.exe we've covered different alternatives like skyvern we've even included integrations with tools like open interpreter and also just a few weeks ago we covered kleinbot which was originally called claude dev and we've covered this tool many different times on this channel. Klein is definitely an AI pair programming favorite to many different coders out there. And now it just got a new integration with Anthropic's computer use feature. We're going to check it out right now in action and see just how effective this is for your coding and projects. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so like I mentioned, we've covered Klein many different times on this channel. One of the main reasons is because they keep rolling out updates after updates. And quite frankly, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I am definitely impressed. Last time when we covered Klein, they went through a name change from Claude Dev to Klein. And in the last few updates, they've got some pretty cool stuff like it being able to automatically inspect the site, screenshot the local host version of it and debug any specific problems that it may have had when it generated you that code. It also implemented recently a new XML tags prompting approach, which essentially increased the success and reduced the number of calls that you need to get the desired outcome. They also included a cancel button and many different features. Well, now in version 2.10, which just was rolled out seven hours ago, Klein now uses Anthropic's new computer use feature to launch a browser, click, type, and scroll. This gives him more autonomy and runtime debugging, end-to-end -end testing, and even general web use. You can literally ask him to look up the weather in Colorado or whatever the case may be to see him in action. And here's a live demo from Saud, the founder of Klein and he's now going full-time on this project and this is pretty crazy because before this klein was a part-time project or claude dev now that he's full-time we're already seeing some pretty crazy updates some pretty crazy innovations that we haven't seen from a lot of ai pair programmers but let's actually see this in action last week anthropic announced a new feature called computer use this now lets client launch a browser, click elements, type text, and scroll. This opens up all kinds of possibilities like interactive debugging, end-to-end -end testing, and even general web use. You could ask him to look up the weather in San Diego or find the cheapest flight to New York, but let's do something a bit more practical. I've got this to-do app that compiles fine, but it has this nasty bug where it crashes when you add a new to-do. Let's see if client can find the bug and fix it. First, let's make sure we're using the new Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model that supports computer use. And now let's ask client to test my app. You can even go back through each action to see new logs that came up at each step. It looks like when he clicked the add to do button, he got a type error. Let's see if he can fix this. Klein made sure he could add a new to do, mark them as complete, that they had proper styling, and that everything worked as expected with no errors. Thanks, Klein. All right, so pretty crazy. We're going to go ahead and test it out. First things first, you're going to want to go ahead and install Klein or update Klein to version 2.1.8. One. Now you may be wondering, Josh, you just told me 2.1.0. Pretty much just as I'm recording this video, he actually rolled out another version, um, 2.1.1, which seems to just be stricter prompts to prevent Klein from editing files during a browser session without first closing the browser. So he's actively working on this, which is nice to see. All right, so first things first, now that we have Klein updated, you're gonna wanna go to your settings here. Of course, enter in your Anthropic key if you don't have it already. Select that as the API provider. And you're going to want to select the newest Claude Sonnet 3.5 model right here. And as you can see, it supports images, supports computer use, and supports prompt caching. And just for the sake of testing, we'll just get it to create a task manager app. I'm going to say make it modern, have a light mode and dark mode, and make it responsive and have some advanced features. And then we're going to go ahead and run some tests on it afterwards using computer use. All right, so it created three files here, the index, the styles, and the app.js. 
and now Klein wants to use the browser. So it's automatically asking me to use computer use, right? And they can see console logs right here. So if there's any issues, it will automatically be able to debug them by viewing the page and interacting with it, which is really cool. We can literally see the mouse right here. Okay, so it said, I noticed some accessibility issues in the HTML that need to be fixed. I'll close the browser first and update the file to add proper ARIA labels and titles to make the app more accessible. All right, so we can save that. All right, now it's going to use the browser again. And you can see here the different steps that it took. So here it launched the browser and then it noticed the accessibility issue. Now we can see it's literally clicking through. Like we can see these steps right here. Wow, so it completed these five steps really quick. It launched the browser. It clicked right here. Then it typed complete project documentation. And then it clicked here. And then it verified the app is working correctly and then it closed the browser so now it's saying task completed and klein wants to execute this command to start things up okay so we're going to go to our local host here task manager and boom here we have our task manager with light mode and dark mode and let's go ahead and test it out we can say test here add task wow so it even did add some advanced features like we have work prior uh, personal shopping medium high low priority we can add a date here. It has a date selector. We can add a task description, click save. You can see it has priority tag colors right here. So we can see low, medium, high, filter by due date, date added, priority, filter by categories over here, filter by priorities right here. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. Improve my task manager app, add advanced features to push the limits of my simple task manager to be an advanced powerhouse task manager with multiple features, built-in calendar, daily journal, and much more. Also, too, if you ever do want it to automatically approve read-only operations, you can just simply just click this box. So that will allow him to automatically read files, view directories, and inspect sites without requiring you to approve the button. Okay, Klein is going in right now. He's writing a lot of code. I'm curious to see what he's going to come up with here. Okay, so we can see here he's adding a navigation bar, calendar view, journal view, search functionality, statistics modal, templates modal, time tracking, and subtasks. So he just wrote like over 400 lines right there. Now he's adding view switching, calendar implementation, mood tracking, statistics tracking, task templates, keyboard shortcuts. And for those of you who don't know about this feature, we've covered this in previous videos, but I just really like it. It's the feature with the diff view where it actually shows you exactly where it is as Klein is doing his work, which is really nice. This highlight feature. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents. AI powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. Like, look at him go right here. This is insane. Like, this is a lot of code. He's just going in. 600 lines right there. Okay, so now he's going to verify the implementation with Claude's computer use. Okay, so we can see the site loaded up right here. Okay, it's loaded successfully. Now he's testing, adding a new task. He's adding a subtask right here. It's clicking save. I really like how it has this mouse here too, where you can see in real time as he's taking these actions. And you can see the console log too. So if any issues arise, it will show up here and then he can troubleshoot them right away. So he said, I noticed that the modal save button might not be visible in the current view. Let me close the browser and adjust the modal's max height to ensure the save button is visible. And now he just changed the code right here. We can click save. He said, I need to restore the complete CSS file content as to write to file. Tool requires the complete file content. Let me fix this by including all CSS rules. Okay, now he's going to open the browser again. Okay, so as you can see, it did nine steps here. You can see the different actions here. Browse click clicked on the save button, clicked on the subtask and title to test the complete functionality. And as we saw here in step nine, it did reach an error, which it fixed. Now, when I was opening the browser here again, after it fixed the error, we reached another rate limit, 
So that's the one thing with computer use, you will get rate limited. You will use a bunch of tokens. The API cost can rack up for sure. As you can see here, just from this iteration alone, we almost spent a dollar. So I could go ahead and click on retry, but I think we get the point of the computer use feature. I think it's really good. He did a really nice job of integrating it into Klein. It's actually one of the best integrations that I've seen of computer use so far that actually works. And not only does it actually work, it actually provides feedback to the AI pair programmer, which then it can iterate upon. Okay, and just to check out the Task Manager Pro now, you can see here that it has those same Task Manager features. It even maybe has a bit more. Oh my gosh, we can see time tracking right here. So we have subtasks, so I can do test here, test. We can save this. Over here, we can create new task templates, so we can save current as template. We can check out the calendar here, which is pretty damn nice. Of course, all this could be optimized even further. We can see our journal over here. We can see it's Monday, October 28th. We can change our mood. We can enter in our daily notes. We can see our daily summary for today. We have a search feature up here where we can go ahead and search things and then we can see, oh, here's our different tasks. We can click on the task and see that. Of course, we have light mode and dark mode still. And up here we have our bar graph and our task statistics. All right, completion rate, categories, time tracked, etc. So pretty good for just two prompts. One, getting the initial app set up. Two, doing some iterations. And of course, using computer use to pretty much test and debug the features. I really did nothing to actually debug things. So all in all, I'm pretty excited for this new Klein update. I'm really excited to see the future of what Klein holds. You know, he's always integrating the newest features and always kind of innovating in this space. Now, it's definitely not perfect and each AI pair programmer has its benefits. You know, I still think cursor having the IDE as its backbone, that type of model is really good because you can just do certain things that you can't do with a VS Code extension. But all in all, let me know what you think about this new Klein update. Have you tried the new computer use with Klein? If so, how do you think it compares to some of the other AI tools? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, guys. If you're new here, we upload videos every single day on AI, automation, marketing, sales, etc. So if you like that type of content and you got some value here, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads. Also too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free community, stridecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below. Definitely check that out. Also too, guys, if you need help with marketing, sales, systems, processes, SOPs, hiring a team, operations, running paid traffic, doing outbound prospecting, or implementing AI into your business, then book a call down below executivestride.com forward slash apply to speak to myself and we can see if it's a fit or not to help you grow your business other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video keep hustling keep grinding and of course guys accelerate your stride take care